Welcome to the Eastgate Theatre Cafe, which we're delighted has been alive and buzzing ever since it reopened in July. But it's not just the cafe itself that's full of life and colour, it's also on the walls because we have a fantastic exhibition from the People's Creative Space Art Group. And we're going to meet Claire Blythe, a local professional artist who is the head tutor of the art group. And she's going to tell us a lot more about some of the fantastic work that's on display. Claire, fantastic to, to meet you and the chance to have a look at this exhibition. But before we have a good look around, perhaps you could just give us a bit of background on the exhibition itself. Yeah, we heard that the studio here was going to be used as a cafe and that the walls were looking a bit bare and uh, decided we could help out with some pictures and also saw it as an opportunity to help the Eastgate by donating some of the proceeds to the fundraising and uh, there were a lot of problems mounting an exhibition in the middle of a pandemic but I think we, we managed, we overcame it. It looks fantastic and there are, is it a dozen artists that are involved? Yes, in fact, I think there are um, 13 now because we had a last minute donation from the family of Helen French, who was a much loved member of the class, and uh, we're very, very happy to have a couple of her pictures here as well. Fantastic, and, and the class itself, tell us a bit more about, about that because you're a professional artist, but a lot of the people within the class are, are, are not professionals, but yeah, we have a complete mixture. Some of the people in the class are more professional than I am, and so it ranges from beginners to professional artists. The classes have been running for about 18 years now, and um, I run these classes with my friend Miriam Coots, and uh, she she's the organiser behind the, the coffee and the materials and so on. She keeps me right with that. Well, let's have a look at some of the work that's on the walls. And I think you're going to talk to, talk to us about them um, in terms of some of the themes that are represented on the walls, starting with, I think, landscapes. Yes, not surprisingly, landscapes figure large in the exhibition. And um, behind me here, we have works by a couple of artists who are very attached to the West Coast and the, um, the colours and so on. Uh, express that very strongly. Let's, well, let's have a look at some of the individual works that are up here. T tell us a wee bit more about, about some of these we're looking at now. So here's one that is a lovely example of collage and mixed media built up in layers um, to make a gorgeous semi-abstract landscape. Um, and a bit further along, we have a group of acrylics um, describing coastal, coastal scenes. So this is the west coast that you're, you're kind of talking about? Some of the, that's east coast. Um, I'd have to read the labels to find out exactly where they all are. I suspect these are west coast ones. And some local scenes too, by, by the looks of a couple of these. Yeah, maybe Border Hills. Yeah. And uh, a snowy one here. So more landscapes here. Um, a big variety, largely local. You find some um, some familiar people scenes here, and some um, more in the countryside round about. You see Bass Rock up there. Is that Bass Rock? Yes. Yeah. 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 And Irish Church at night. Um, a very interesting one there of a starling murmuration, which is difficult to capture in paint. And I guess you've seen a lot of these artists who've been with you for a long, long time just really, really grow into their work. So you see this fantastic progression. Yes, what, what I like most about it is seeing them all find their own voice and every one of them does something so different in the course of a two-hour session. Um, we have as many different styles as there are people in the class and that's really exciting for me to, to see that coming out. Well, yes, I can imagine because yeah, it's great to see that, that, that kind of growth over, over time because are they weekly or is it 
Yes, yes, weekly classes um, and we, we stop for holiday breaks. Uh, but of course we're missing the classes just now, trying to do things online, but the, the social side of the classes um, can't be replicated on, on Zoom. Um, so we're, we're hoping to get back together as soon as possible. And, and some more very different landscapes again uh, here in this part of the studio. Yeah, we have here the two from Helen French, which are lovely moody pastel landscapes. And then here, uh, a real escape painting, a um, set in Mallorca. If you feel the need to get away from it all, that's a lovely one to look at. Two, two very different types of lights. Yes, absolutely, yeah. And a few more uh, landscapes here in the cafe area as well. Yes, this is Rachel, um, who has definitely found her artistic voice. Um, she has worked so hard at this over the years, but has this beautiful, um, deceptively simple style and um, can be found um, reproducing the, the border hills in, in this lovely way. Yeah, it's a slightly different take on a landscape we all know very well. Yes, she's, she's spent years simplifying what she does and uh, it's more difficult than it looks. And now we've got a very different kind of theme, buildings and architecture and three quite different artists as well. Yes, um, first of all here we have Elizabeth and she has some lovely stylized architecture pictures here and uh, quite, a, quite a retro feel to them. And then on this side, um, we, go, we go to Isabel's work, and this is very expressive and loose um, in contrast. So this is collage, there's lots of layers going on There's here. a lot going on there with, yes, collage, pastel, in inks, paints, um, you name it, whatever's to hand. Uh, we'll go in the picture. And Isabel's got two, I think, two more pieces yep. towards the end of the wall here, if you'd like to take us Another to Another couple of building ones here. And again, that lovely layering and collage going on. Yeah, it's amazing colours there. Uh, really rich, vibrant colours in amongst the more muted, uh, more muted things. And Claire, I guess we should really look at some of your work as well. Thank you. Yes, these are my ones and this is a little batch of people's pictures. Um, a lot of mixed media going on in there as well. And are these recent, um, recent pieces of work or has this been taken from, from a few years? Some of, them, some of them are more recent than others. It's a, a theme I come back to when I see a, when a, a lovely building catches my attention. And, and locally, do you still find, having lived here for a long time now, but do you, do you still find lots of inspiration yes. uh, from the local yes. environment? Yes. No end. And finally, in this section of the uh, exhibition, we've got a real mix of styles and subjects from, from teddy bears through to David Bowie. Tell, tell us a bit more about some of these uh, yeah. pieces of work. I think this, this corner illustrates the variety of work that people do in the class. Not all of it's been done in the class, um, but so right here we have some really quite personal works, variety of media here, including oil, and um, if we move around here, we've got more traditional use of watercolour and some really interesting printmaking techniques going on at this yeah, point. Lovely, yeah. Um, along here, some more acrylic mixed media and quite experimental, expressive work. Then, in contrast, we have these really precise and beautifully done pastel works from Diane at the end there. Yeah, they are, they are stunning. And, and again, very, very different subjects. She's turned her hand to, to many different things. Yes, anything. <laughs> so we're back to where we started. Um, so thank you very, very much for, for giving us a walkthrough of an exhibition that's full of uh, some amazing work from some very, very talented artists. So thank you very much, Claire, indeed. Thank you. And the, the exhibition, which is actually called Artists for Eastgate, 
Uh, it's going to be open until the 12th of September. Uh, as Claire mentioned, um, a significant amount of the proceeds will go to the Eastgate's ongoing fundraising campaign. Um, the exhibition is open from 10 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the afternoon from Wednesdays to Saturdays. Uh, there's also an online, uh, a virtual online exhibition uh, through a platform called Art Steps, so you can also see the exhibition there. So do please come along and have a look at some of this fantastic work and uh, yeah, contribute to a very good cause as well. So thank you very much.